Our top focus on We on Dispatch. The United States is stepping up sanctions heat on Prigozhin's Wagner Mercenary Group. The latest round targets companies accused illicit or of illicit gold dealings to fund the Mercenary Group. This includes sanctions on two companies based in Central African Republic. The U.S. Treasury Undersecretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, Brian Nelson, said, and I quote, The Wagner Group funds its brute operations in part by exploiting natural resources in countries like the Central African Republic and Mali, end of quote. He further said, and I quote again, The United States will continue to target the Wagner Group's revenue streams to degrade its expansion and even violence. Previous U.S. sanctions against Wagner Group had been put on hold. The latest round, however, was put in place following the Wagner chief's exile to Belarus on Tuesday. Russian mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin flew to Belarus after being exiled from the Russian Federation. Prigozhin had declared an armed mutiny against the Russian defense leadership on Saturday morning. A force of Wagner mercenaries had begun a march to Moscow, keeping up a threatening stance before it was called back just as it was some 460 kilometers short of reaching the Russian capital, Moscow. This was after Belarusian President Lukashenko intervened in the matter. He urged Prigozhin to revoke the mutiny. He further claimed he also urged Putin not to kill the Wagner chief. He also commented on Prigozhin's long-running feud with Russian military leaders and said action had not been taken in due time. And for more on Wagner operations in Africa, our correspondent Calden Ongmu has sent us this report from Johannesburg. Russian mercenary company Wagner's brief rebellion last week against Russian President Vladimir Putin's government has opened up a bigger debate. Experts say the failed mutiny in Russia by the Wagner may have repercussions for Africa where it has several thousand fighters as well as lucrative business interests. Experts believe Wagner's operational strategy over the past few years has been to expand both its military and economic footprint in Africa. U.S. nonprofit company The Sentry said in a report that Wagner Group has played a central role in a campaign of killings, torture and rape in the Central African Republic and has driven civilians away from areas where its affiliated companies have been awarded mining rights. However, despite this, the group is likely to continue its operations in African countries such as Mali and the Central African Republic. In an interview with the state broadcaster Russia Today, the country's foreign affairs minister, Sergei Lavrov, said the Wagner Group's engagements in Mali and Central African Republic were agreed upon at government-to-government -government level and as such, they remain in place. This is Calden Olmo from Johannesburg, South Africa. For We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.